Hi guys, how are you? Crafting the same. Today is a Monday, November 15th. I cannot believe we're already like halfway in November. It's just crazy. Last week I didn't feel like doing any diamond painting. I just took a nice long break. Um, this one I'm not in any rush because it can be used for Halloween or Christmas or, you know, um, I've just been busy, yeah. Um, ever since we got that, Castle Bomber was very nice. I checked the so so, and you know, it, it, it is what it is. <clears throat> I made the best out of it. Um, what else? Um, Tuesday I had went to the beach with my mom. Just to pick sand, like sand glass and stuff like that. And then um, Wednesday, I went to my friend's. I went to my friend's house and uh, yeah. And then Thursday, I got my hair cut. Yeah, I'll show you guys. That's my hair cut. Yeah, I really didn't do much at all on this painting. Because, um, like I said, I've been just busy. I think I got my hair cut Thursday. Yeah, that was Remembrance Day, which was Veterans Day in the States as well. And then on the weekend, Saturday was just so much lazy and whatnot. Oh, Thursday was also my mom's birthday. We had cake and stuff, it was nice. And, um, then, uh, on the week, weekend, we cleaned my craft room. I had a little help. <laughs> it's a lot better than what it was, trust me. Um, I'll, I'll do a video at the end just showing you what it looks like and stuff. Uh, I have no idea where she put everything. Well, I do. Oh, there it is. So it's gonna be a true crime story time. I still had some of those left. I figured I'll do one. Can you just like, mm, thank you. Sorry. I was trying not to get my chair stuck. Okay. So, um,. These are a lot, like, a lot of this is from, like, the court TV and stuff, because I like watching court TV now. And this, they did this case a while ago. Um. And it, it was sad to see, but, um. Although, like. It, it, it was a good one. It was like one of the good cases that they they've done, and it was really big and you know, well not really big per se, but it was big to that area. So, all right, let's get going. <clears throat> Judge Christine the course also ordered that Stanley Ford of Art Art Caron A K R O N serve the terms um 
consecutively. Ford, um, 62, has maintained his innocence, but was found guilty September 21st of, uh, of 26 of the 29 counts against him, including, um, aggravated murder and, uh, aggravated arson. And jury recommend that this month that, the, um, he be sentenced to life in prison instead of a death penalty. Although the judge had the final say, besides um, the life terms for the mur murders, uh, Gross the, um, also imposed an, an additional 20 year, 21 year sentence for attempted uh, gravitated murder with a violent offender uh, pacification. Besides the, uh, oh, let me just write that. Eh. Um, the persecutors said Ford killed a couple in 2016 with and two adults and five children in 2017. They used surveillance fil surveillance footage, uh, video footage, video footage, security alarm records. And the testimony of the neighbors to show Ford was responsible. Prosecutor said that uh, Ford set the fires of uh, set the fires because of disputes with his neighbors. He Ford's attorney um, argued at the trial that his client could not be identified in the surveillance videos and added. Um, that other potential subset, uh, suspect, suspect, sorry, um, were in divide. Ford's intentional trial began in March 2020 after a week of testimony and several days. A submit county judge, uh, Christine Course, had declared a mistrial uh, the following June at the request of Ford's attorneys who uh, cited concerns about Ford's ability to get a fair trial um, during the, uh, the coronavirus pandemic. That was it. I'm like, I'm looking, I guess there wasn't much. Oh, okay, sorry guys. So I'm actually going to, I don't know why, I, but so pretty much he, he had killed nine people 
in the fires and it was just horrible um there was like a few kids that had passed on uh because of the fire and it was just there was a lot of information with the case i'm just surprised there wasn't more in that article um but yeah he was sentenced to life for doing the fi the fires and to kidding uh to um killing those nine people if you want to be more precise i'm sorry that was a short short shorter one than i thought but um this one's also short too so i'm gonna do this one Okay, 90 Day Fiance before the 90, 90 Day Season 4 star Jeffrey Pascal has been convicted of aggravating, kidnapping, domestic assault, and interferes with emergency calls in Knox County, Tennessee. According to a press release from Knox County Office uh, of the direct Attorney General, a judge revoked 44-year-old uh, Pascal's bond and ordered him into custody. He, his, sen his sentencing is set for December 3rd. Um, a prosecutor's aligned, er, alleged uh, Pascal physically assaulted his girlfriend on June 9th, 2019, when officers with the Knox County Sheriff's responded to the call for a domestic disturbance. Um, of course, he denied um, the allegations and uh, um, and said that her bru bruises were, were self-inflicted. Knox County, uh, Knox County's yeah, not County Sheriff. This isn't the first time Pascal has been arrested. He was previously convicted for drug possession with intent to sell as well as the federal drug trafficking. He now faces a sentence of 12 to 20 years in prison without the poss possibility of parole. The 90, uh, 90 day fiance cam cameras followed uh, Pascal, as he traveled to Russia to meet his online girlf girlfriend, v Vera, V-A-R-Y-A. During his season, some, some viewers called for his removal considering the allegations against him, and TLC did not have Pascal on that season t uh, till all special. Last March, addressed his past Instagram, I have been repeatedly asked why I would never wanted to be on the show. It's the best show, FYI, where my life would be put in front of everyone apart, especially with my checkered past. He wrote, well, guys, my past is my past, and my life is my life, and it's my choice. If we were all the same, I thought, the same uh, looked and the same or acted the same how lame would that be my close up my close up life was the the only way i knew how to live he continued i hid so much about myself rather be my age my history or even my relationships what what are crazier what locked up the way i could could i even my relationships. What crazier 
whacked up way could I have done it any it any way better than blasting it out there. For the path I have chose, I cannot ever be rever reversed. Um, everything about me is there for the world to see. Whether it's true or fantasy, I can never go back. Honestly, I would not have it any different. So, yeah. So that is it for that. Um, even when when I was watching it, it's like, oh my god, this Mickey was an absolute liar. And I don't know if anyone watched that show. I know I didn't. I've seen bits and pieces. But, yeah. He was just so full of himself that any jury would not believe him. Um, when I was watching it, it was like literally a two-day court. And it was like done in like four days. So, it'll be on December 3rd and that's like literally only three weeks. So, a couple Fridays from now, it'll be on. <clears throat> so let me know if anyone had followed those two stories. I would be interested in knowing more for sure, as always. Um, if you'd like to me to tell any other stories that you heard or read, let me know and I'll look them up so I can read them to you. Right now, I am... Um, <clears throat> I'm actually watching the Kyle Rittenhouse case in Kenosha. Um, I don't think he's gonna be found not guilty. I'm sorry, what you did was what you did. But then again, you never know. You just you, you just don't know. Um. So yeah. On that note, I am going to sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, before I go, I will show you my craft room. So there's my carts and my bookshelves. I did not just do that. I'm gonna have to pick those up after. I need those. <laughs> I spilled some drills. <laughs> so there's my bookshelf. My little Walt's keychains. It's all organized. And then we go over here to my organized desk. I was making those. And I put some stuff in the closet for right now. So yeah, on that note, I am going to go, um, maybe I'll do a better video, um, of everything later when I'm, like, I can face the camera better. Um, but yeah, I just literally spilled all these beads everywhere. Not the whole thing, thank God, but, um, a good chunk of it. So I gotta go clean that up. But on that note, bye guys, stay safe.